Hi everyone, I hope you're all good. Um, for this week's PE lesson, for those of you that are unable to do Mr Hall and Miss Pepper's video for whatever reason, um, I'm going to go through a bit of a quiz with you guys, okay? So I have got 13 questions for you relating to bones and muscles and the different exercises that we've been looking at already over the last couple of PE lessons, okay? Um, I've then got a couple of challenges for you guys at the end of the lesson to go away and research and create your own exercises for some different athletes. So what I would like you to do is I'm going to read the 13 questions for you guys. Make sure you have got a paper and pen or a word document open or whatever it may be that you are working on to write your answers down because at the end I'm also going to go through the answers with you and hope that you are marking your work and getting them all right. So. After each question, if you want some time to pause and research the answer, then that's fine. Okay, so just pause the video. I don't mind if you want to go away and research the answer and find the right answer if you really don't have a clue. Okay, so it is absolutely fine to use the internet to help you on this quiz. I don't expect you to know all the answers off the top of your head. Okay, so get your pen or your word document and question one is going to be where in the body is the hamstring muscle located okay so where in the body is the hamstring muscle located so remember i am going to carry on reading so if you do need time to answer the questions please pause the video after each question okay because the rest of the questions now are just going to come one after the other so question two is going to be name a muscle a tennis player would use when serving so any muscle that a tennis player might use when they're serving. Number three, where in the body is the patella? Okay, so the patella is a bone, but where in the body is it? Number four, is the Achilles a bone, a muscle, a tendon, or a ligament? Number five, Name three sports where an athlete would benefit from doing press-ups in their circuit. Number six, where in the body is the deltoid muscle? Number seven, which muscles are being used when you are doing sit-ups? Question eight, name three exercises a boxer may benefit from. So any three exercises that you've seen already or that you can find that a boxer might benefit from. Question nine, what is the name of the muscle group in your upper leg that consists of four muscles? Number 10, name three sports where the athlete would benefit from doing squats. Number 11, why would a rugby player need to have strong muscles in their arms and shoulders? Number 12, name three exercises that would benefit a football player. So again, three that you've seen already or three that you can find that would benefit a football player. And number 13, so final question, when in a game would a basketball player need to use explosive power in their legs. Now, explosive power is when you are using a lot of muscle, a lot of muscle power in a really, really quick movement. Okay, so explosive power is something a basketball player would use in a game, but when? Okay, I want you to give me a scenario. Give me a, a specific example. Okay, and now we're gonna go through the answers together as well. So if you haven't quite finished any of the questions, make sure you pause before I start getting to the answers. And if you need to go back and rewind and listen to any of the questions again, quickly do that now. So the answer to question one, where is the hamstring muscle located? I'm really hoping you got the answer. It is in the back of your upper leg. Okay, so your hamstring is this bit of your leg. Uh, question two, you could have had some different answers here. So name a muscle a tennis player would use when serving. Now, this is a bit of a trick question because if you think about a tennis serve, 
they're actually using most of their body. Okay, so you might have thought about arms, if they're throwing the ball up and they're coming up to serve, but actually when they get to that point, they're also using a lot of their leg muscles. So most of you, I hope, will have got an arm muscle. However, you could also have said most of your body. So they're actually using a bit of their core strength, they're using a bit of their back muscles and even their legs, okay? But ideally, you want to be saying either the biceps, the triceps, deltoid, trapezius, or pectoral. Okay, you could have had lots of different answers for that one. So a little bit of a trick question. Um, number three, where in the body is the patella? So I said it was a bone. Hopefully you know it is in your leg. So your patella is your kneecap. Okay, that is the scientific name for your kneecap. So that is in your leg. Question four. Is the Achilles a bone, muscle, tendon, or ligament? Do we know where the Achilles is? Okay, so the Achilles is in the back of your um, heel. So it connects your um, calf muscle into your ankle, and it is a tendon. Okay, so the Achilles is a tendon. Um, again, question five, you could have had loads of different answers. So we're looking for sports where the athlete would benefit from doing press ups. Okay, so we could have had um, anything really that involves arm strength. So I've put down here, and this is not a full list, this is just some examples that you could have had. So you could have had boxing, tennis, badminton, netball, basketball, rowing. Okay, all those sports use predominantly your arm muscles. Okay, so you could have had any of those. There's also loads more you could have had. So if you've said anything where the sport is predominantly using your arm muscles, then you, that'll be right, don't worry about it. Number six, where in the body is the deltoid muscle? Now that one is round your shoulder. Okay, so it comes from the back and it comes round the side and then it finishes up in the front. Okay, so the deltoid goes all the way round your shoulder here. Number seven, which muscles are used when doing sit-ups? And I want the proper answer, I want the scientific answer. So I don't want you to say core and I don't want you to say six pack. Okay, I want you to say abdominals. So it is your abdominal muscles when you're doing sit-ups. Question eight, name three exercises a boxer may benefit from. So again, this could be loads of different answers. Okay, you may have found some online that we haven't even covered in PE lessons. However, I'm gonna do ones that I think you've done in lesson. So um, boxers use a lot of their, their abdominal muscles. They use a lot of their core muscles in fights. So you could have had things like sit-ups, crunches, or plank that would work on their core muscles. You could have had things like tricep dips, press-ups, um, even burpees work their arms a little bit. So those ones would help with their um, muscular endurance and their strength in their arms. So you could have had any of those. Again, like I said, you may have found some other answers online. and I'm sure you've got them right. Number nine, what is the name of the muscle group in your upper leg consisting of four muscles? So I'm hoping that you know that that's the one on the front this time because we said hamstrings the back. So the one on the front that has four muscles is your quadriceps. quadriceps. Number 10, name three sports where the athlete would benefit from doing squats. So again, you could have had loads of different answers on this one, but we need to make sure that this time it is sports that are predominantly using the leg muscles. So. I've got, and again, this is not a full list, this is just ideas you could have had. Um, a footballer uses their legs a lot, so you could have had a footballer, uh, a rugby player, um, gymnasts need good leg strength too, um, divers, divers need leg strength when they're taking off of their diving board, so you could have had a diver, um, cyclists, and you could have had throwers and jumpers, so you could have had shot put, long, um, shot put javelin, um, those kind of throwing events. They actually use a lot of leg power, although they're throwing events, they transfer a lot of their power up their body to be able to throw far from their legs. So a lot of their strength actually comes from their legs. And you could have also had long jump, high jump. Um, those guys need to be able to run fast in the takeoff and then take off, sorry. Um, so they would need lots of leg strength too from their squats. And number 11, why would a rugby player need to have strong muscles in their arms and shoulders? Now, I picked this question because it's a little bit tricky to think about why rugby players might need strong arms. Okay, so a lot of um, what you think about rugby, a lot of the strength comes from your legs. However, there are lots of different examples why a rugby player would need to have strong arms in their uh, strong arm muscles in a game. Okay, so 
I've got these answers are the sort of top three that I would assume that you would have. So to make a tackle successful in rugby, you need to be able to squeeze your arms. Okay, so if you've got the legs of an opponent, it's that squeezing that brings them down to the ground. Okay, so squeezing the legs in the tackle of their opponent is going to come from their arms. Okay, so it's that movement round and squeezing. If they've not got strong arms, they're not going to be able to squeeze tight. Okay, so that's one example. Uh, making longer passes. If you've got weak arms, you're only going to be able to pass to, over a short distance to a teammate. If you've got stronger arms, you're going to be able to pass that ball a lot further. And then the third one I've got is holding in a scrum. So if you're in rugby, if you're in a rugby game and you're in a scrum and you've got your arms up around your opponents, you need to be strong in your shoulders to be able to keep that scrum up because if the scrum collapses, you have to go again. Okay, so it's about being strong in your shoulders to keep that scrum up and to be able to push your opponents forward so that your team gets the ball. Question 12, nearly there. Question 12 was name three exercises that would benefit a football player. So again, I've only named a few. Um, you guys might have found some more. But the examples I've put down are uh, ones that you've done in lessons. So squats, lunges, burpees, mountain climbers, anything that focuses mainly around the legs or the core muscles, your abdominal muscles, those would be your right answers. And the final question was, when in a game would a basketball player need to use explosive power? Okay, so like I said, this is when you're using the power in your legs um, in a really quick action. So, I've got a few different examples. I'm hoping you've got one of these down because these are the main ones. So, performing a layup. Okay, so a layup is the proper term for a slam dunk. So, for a basketball player to be able to lay up, they've got to be able to take off really fast and jump really high with their legs. Um, blocking a shot. So, very similar to a layup. Again, it is that explosive jump. Um, to be able to put their arms up and stop an opponent, they need explosive leg strength. And the third example is taking a shot from outside the three-point line. Okay, so it's nice and easy for basketball players to shoot within the three-point line. They're not too far away from the hoop. However, when they're outside that three-point line, they're getting further from the hoop and they need more power to be able to get their shot in. So they're relying less on their arms and more about the transference of weight through their body up from their legs. Okay, so that's when they're going to need that explosive power to be able to shoot. So I hope you've marked those and I hope that you've managed to get at least 10 out of 13. I'll be really impressed if you got them all right. That's really fantastic work if you did. For the rest of the lesson, what I would like you to do, okay? I've got three different questions for you. Um, I would like you to start on number one and work through and see if you can complete all three by the end of the lesson, okay? They're not too difficult. Um, you may need to use the internet a little bit to help you out, do a little bit of research. Um, but these are the three things I would like you to do, please, for the rest of the lesson. So the first one is I would like you to create a workout specifically for a rugby player that includes between six and ten different exercises. Okay, so six is the easy, ten is the challenge. Okay, so if you guys want a challenge, I'd like you to aim for ten different exercises, please, that would benefit a rugby player. So creating a workout for a rugby player that includes six to ten different exercises. The second one I would like you to do is I would like you to think of five different specific examples of when an athlete would use their abdominal muscles in different sports. Okay, so for example, if I was to say a diver would use their abdominal muscles when they are moving into a pike position in their dive, that would be a specific sporting example. Okay, I'm not just saying, not just saying a diver would need their abdominal muscles. I'm giving a specific example saying that a diver would use their abdominal muscles to move into the pike position in their dive. Okay, so I want you to think of five different sporting examples that are really specific of when an athlete would use their abdominal muscles, please. And the third and final question is, can you create a workout for a netball player that includes at least five exercises but they have to involve a netball. Okay, so all of the exercises have to involve a netball. So it may be that you turn the plank from a standard plank to using a netball to roll it across from hand to hand. Okay, that would be um, creating an exercise that uses a netball. Remember, you can use the internet to help you for this one. Okay, so if you are struggling to think of exercises that may involve a netball, then find, find some, research them. 
okay, have a look at what a netballer might do to be able to um, improve their fitness in a circuit workout. Okay, so those are the three things I'd like you to do, please, for the rest of the lesson. Um, teachers will be available in chat, so if you've got any questions about those extension tasks, please feel free to ask your teacher in the chat and they will answer the best they can. They will be there to help you. Okay, but good luck with those. I'm sure you're going to produce me a really fantastic piece of work. Um, and we'll catch up with you at the end of the lesson. So thank you very much.